I saw what Kessler put you through. Hell of a thing. Every minute that mad dog walks the planet, all of our lives are at risk. 75 seconds. Where the hell were you? If you'd only helped out, Trish might still be alive. Take his do. life! She was dead humanity. the second Kessler got his claws on her. 51 seconds. Spare me that crap. You just didn't want to put your neck on the line. Expose myself to save one person? I don't think so. But I can help you get some payback. The power grid on the southern half of this island never got updated, so it still uses the old external substations. Turn on all three and you restore power to the rest of the island. Fifteen seconds. And give myself a new power in the process. Exactly. Hey there guys, and welcome back to Infamous. In the last part... Well, I'm pretty sure we all remembered what happened there. Kessler killed Trish. Oh, how many tears were shed that day. Quite honestly, I did not give a damn because I hated Trish. But yeah, maybe there's some people who liked her. Despite the fact that she was just nagging and bitching and whining the whole damn time. Oh well, she will be missed. At least Cole is pissed off about it. And now Kessler must pay. He must pay dearly. So we will make that happen by shooting everyone in sight. Eh, uh, right, that's not a first son, that's an innocent civilian. But that doesn't mean that the civilian can't die. Ah, uh, love the shield. Okay, and now we're in the truck's blind spot and we can just keep shooting at it like a madman. Because there's no way the turret can hit me from there, so... Hooray for blind spots. You'd expect them to be, like, super dangerous in traffic, but they can actually be handy. Like when there's a turret on the back of a truck trying to kill you. Okay, these first suns, they are kind of overwhelming me right about now. There's a lot of them. They are pretty well organized. I must say they're, like, the smartest enemies in this game. They, like, always come in groups. They like, attack you from behind, at least they're trying to, except I'm walking backwards, so that's not working out for them. And I think that's all of them for now. Let's just rush to the story mission, because I think this is the mission, or the one we're about to do, is the mission you get your final power in, which is an awesome oh crap. Why am I shooting at it? Just use the shield get to the blind spot and here we go again you know the drill and crap there's a crap load of first sons again these guys are not giving me a break here are they die freaking first sons oh boy oh boy oh crap not good not good run 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 throw some grenades maybe kill them all well can't say I didn't try. Ah, nuts. Oh well, bound to happen sometimes. And hooray for the medical clinic. Oh man, it's all the way on the other freaking end of the island. And with no power, we can't grind on rails or cables. So that sucks. You know what? We need more territory to get rid of all these freaking dustmen. There's an injured guy. There's an injured guy over there, over where? Uh-huh. Follow the girl to the injured pedestrian. Okay. Where is this pedestrian? <sighs> Looks like that guy took a real beating while trying to defend his locker. I could heal him. Or I could just grab his shards and take off. It's not like he can stop me. I'm pretty sure you guys all know what I'm about to do now. Give me that frickin' locker. Holy crap! That guy is a terrorist. He has explosives in his locker. I mean, damn. Ah, damn thing was rigged. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. But at least we got the blast shards, I think. And we got more territory for blowing up some guy's locker. I don't see how that, like, does anything to the first sun activity in this area. But oh well, I'm not complaining. Let's see. Ooh, blast shard up there in that pole. Let us climb it. 
because yeah, we need more power. Only 20 more. Damn. That's a lot. Hmm. They have explosives. They planted mines on the roof. How dare they? And I think I see a blast shot over there. So let's go and grab that one. Get off this thing. There we go. Okay, now where's the story mission at? Yeah, that's a way off. Oh well, let us grind there. On rails. So... How about that weather, huh? Yeah, really have to resort to conversations like that, then... Uh, let's just not... Oh crap, now we're in the blacked out area. Great. Oh crap. Yeah, we should totally not be here right now. Although I think... Is that a blast shard? Yes, it is. Well then, let's go and grab it. Because, hell, we'll, we're going to pick up every blast shard we run into. Uh, oh, another one up there. And more first suns. Why do they always need to... Oh crap. Turret truck. Shield up. And make a run for it. Haha, <laughs> they never learn, do they? Like, is there no driver in that truck to, like, drive it out of the way? Maybe try and run me over? You know, maybe that could help. But no, it just sits there and explodes. Not that I'm complaining about that. I love how Shockwave electrifies the crap out of everything now. Man, these guys just keep on coming. Time for some grenades. Blow up the entire bloody street. And yet they are still coming after me. I mean, damn. Like, are they wearing rubber armor or something? Which makes them virtually immune to my electric attacks? Are they ground types? Man, I'm gonna make a freaking Pokemon joke here. We're just going to turn tail and run. And try and get some of our power back along the way. I need a street light. These cars barely give me anything. Like, it takes me five cars to get back up to full power. I'm guessing car batteries don't hold that much juice. But at least we're almost there. I think. Yeah, just keep on running and running. Probably getting a couple fights along the way. Screw them, I'm gonna go in this... Damn, they're everywhere, even in this back alley. Gigawatt blades, there we go. Those are truly the most reliable way to take care of these guys, because they still kill everything in one hit. Even these guys. There we go. They don't take up that much power to use. They're quite handy tools for taking on these guys. Uh, turret truck there. Wait, didn't I just kill all of them here? Or are those new ones? Yeah, they are most definitely new ones. Is he dead? Yes, he is. Okay, guy hiding around the corner. Get over here so I can cut you with my electric lightning claw. And crap, you can't drain him if you kill him with the gigawatt blades. Eh, minor flaw in the plan. But it'll still work out, I think. Ah, man. These guys are everywhere. There's a crap load of them. They're strong, they do a lot of damage, have a lot of health. This part is kind of annoying. Because more often than not, you'll find yourself on the run for these guys. And another turret truck. Two turret trucks. Great. Well, at least I can make use of them to regain my health. Or power, thanks to the shield special ability. But let's just sneak underground. At least now we're safe from the trucks, unless they manage to sneak a truck in here, which seems highly unlikely. There we go. Alright then, we will continue exploring the sewer in the next part of Infamous, so thanks for watching, and bye bye